A little ladies. Look at your kitchen. Now back at me. Now look at your kitchen. Now back at me. Sadly, I'm not in your kitchen. But if you want these delicious s'mores to be, you will watch the rest of this video. If I look down, you look up. I look down. These are delicious. For I just got done cooking with Emeril. I taught him a couple things because I'm the world's greatest cook. Believe it. I do. So the first thing that you want to do is to cream the butter and the sugars. Right here I have half a cup of butter or one stick of butter that I cut up so that it would um, blend easier. And then a fourth of a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of sugar. And so I'm just going to blend these until they are nice and creamy. Once that's all blended and it's light in color, you want to add one egg and a teaspoon of vanilla. And then just beat that until smooth. So that looks good for that. In a separate bowl, I put um, one and a third cups all-purpose flour, uh, a teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon salt, and then three-fourths of a cup of graham cracker crumbs. And then with a whisk, I'm just going to whisk that all together. And then that creates the same um, consistency of like sifting your flour. So you just want to do this so everything is all incorporated and combined before you put it in with the wet part. And now I'm just going to add the dry ingredients in small increments until it's thoroughly mixed and I don't have any more dry ingredients to add. Doing it in small batches like that or small increments will help to make sure that everything gets thoroughly mixed without too much, like sometimes it can puff up and you don't want that to happen. Okay, so this is the consistency. It's like regular cookie dough, but then you can kind of tell it kind of has like a graham crackery consistency, which is exactly what we want. So now we're going to just assemble the cookie. Um, what you need is an eight inch square pan, and then what I do is just take a piece of parchment paper and line it on the bottom, and then I, in addition to that, I sprayed it with a little bit of cooking oil, just because, you know, you are working with marshmallow and that's sticky and you want to be able to get this out of the pan. So then I'm going to take the cookie dough. I'm going to take about half of it and put it into the bottom. Doing this with clean hands. And then I'm just going to press it so that you kind of make the bottom layer. And then the next thing is to have two king size Hershey bars. Um, or any chocolate bar. I just prefer this one. And then basically, you're just going to lay them on there. You might, if you want to get like super technical about it, and since I have an extra bar staying right here, I'm gonna just take one of these layer things and just put it right there. And then that fits it perfectly. And then the next thing you need is one and a half cups of marshmallow fluff. You can't do this with regular like mini marshmallows or anything like that, it won't melt right. So it needs to be marshmallow fluff or if you like disgusting things, marshmallow cream. I would not touch that with a 10 foot pole though. Um, you can measure it if you want, but because fluff is sticky, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and you know, you can add more if you need it. And then just spread it on top of the chocolate bar. Now if you've had s'mores before, you know that the next step is to put the other graham cracker on top. So we're going to follow suit with this and do the rest of the graham cracker cookie dough right on top of the marshmallow cream. Now if, um, as you, I'm sure you're aware, this is very sticky so spreading it across isn't really easy. I've seen websites that just do it in sections, but the way that I've been doing it is to take a piece of parchment paper and you can either cut it or kind of eyeball it into the size that the pan is and then take the rest of the cookie dough and just make the shape 
by patting it out. After you've done that, just take the cookie dough and place it right over. And then just slowly, so that you don't grab any of the cookie dough, peel away the parchment. So it's a little bit smaller, but this is much easier to spread out along the edges than if you were doing the whole thing. And if you get a few areas that kind of break, it's not a big deal. The marshmallow will ooze out a little bit, but it still tastes just as good. All right, so this is going to go into a 350 degree oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. Ha, and I'm back. I just took a 30 minute trip across the world, tied two turtles to the bottom of my feet, and sailed across the Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific just in time to get back to take these s'mores out of the oven. Let's have a little taste test. Absolutely delectable. This video is now Diamonds.